the first time that people started to actually run for fitness, like go out and just jog. That was in the 70s. And the U.S. It really took off as a recreational form of fitness in the 70s and grew from there. And over the course of the next few decades, that was kind of the first running boom. And then, you know, we're in the midst of what I think many consider to be, and you touched on it, a, of a second running boom. We're seeing participation in, in races continue. I mean, you're, you're seeing almost every single major marathon break attendance or, and registration records over the prior few years. You're seeing Run Club participation explode and Strava publishes a lot of good reports on the participation because they just have so much good data on this. You're seeing a, a younger generation of runners as well. So the sport is being driven or the popularity is being driven in large part by Gen Z. And in particular, women are participating in the sport much more than they did in the past. And so, yeah, it's really we're in the middle of the second running boom and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. And of course, that leads to a lot of great communities, a lot of great innovation. And so we're part of that wave.